Hey guys. Sorry, I just woke up. Let's get ready to come and fly with me. We're gonna have a, a really good fly. Cheese! I'm definitely not a morning person. Hence why. In the mornings, I like to get ready in pure silence. Pretty depressing, but... It feels so nice after having a shower. You feel so fresh and up. It's absolutely crazy. Are you ready for the day? Let's do some makeup. Um, so that we look a little bit more presentable for the light. Don't they say that if you look good, you'll feel good. So you need to feel amazing for your flight. Otherwise, sometimes it doesn't go that well. So hmm. let's not forget sun cream because today I think it's going to be like 30 degrees. So sun cream is very important. Um, contour so that our face looks a little more snatched. Um, lately, to be honest, I've been struggling um, with a few bits. One of the, my biggest struggles that I've been having since to fly is the flare. I have the tendency to either not flare enough or if I do then I flare a little too high. Um, so in today's fly it's going to be more about trying to fix my flare so that I get a smooth landing. Yeah, I know this is like my landing sometimes. They either very flat or they just go like, I just bounce. Very marked. But that's okay. We're learning, so it's a learning curve. <laughs> One of my roommates, she's also flying today, so I might hear her on the ATC. Oh, crazy. Everything went everywhere. Days like this when it gets really hot, um, you know when you fly and then you get out of the aircraft, you're very sweaty. Um, it's very difficult to make sure like the your makeup just sets, which is why I try to put as little as I can. Um, and so that's like a one layer makeup rather than putting multiple products on top of your face. Um, and I think when it, the summer's gonna come, I'm gonna start reducing that to even more. I'll just go with a bit of concealer and stuff, like a mascara. Um, just because then it's good for the skin as well, and then because it's gonna be it's gonna be so sweaty. I don't want my makeup to just sweat and then look very sticky. Sometimes my makeup will also look oily um, when it's very sweaty and it's just it just not it does not look nice. So for now we're just keeping it like this, but I think in summer I'm just gonna reduce it even more. I want to have a nice breakfast before my flight. I'm just trying to pretend. I'm, ooh, that my nose is snatched. We are now just going to set it with a little bit of powder. I'm gonna do the happy dance, aren't you? If I. A, A. I need to leave in about um, 35 minutes. So I've got plenty of time to get ready, have some breakfast, and then I will probably call my parents as well. Okay, I have a very um, hate and love and hate relationship with my blush. It's just, I don't know. Sometimes it looks nice, and the other times I'm like, meh, it looks ugly. I wish I didn't put any blush on. Out. Sometimes it hurts. My belly just grumbled. I hope you guys didn't hear that. My eyelashes are so weird. My eyelashes literally just point straight down, and I'm like, ugh. I find them so hard to curl them. They're long, but it's just 
I found them very hard to just curl because I'll curl them and then two minutes later they're back back down and I'm like oh what do I do to make you guys just stay where you are. Here's my makeup done for my fight. And now we're just gonna get ready and get dressed. For my lips, I don't really want to put anything on. I'm just gonna put another layer of Caramax. So they're a bit shiny. Doing your buttons with nails on, especially the top one, is a struggle in the morning. There we go. And then you need to make sure that the makeup doesn't touch the collars, um, oh, which it already has. Full strangled with the tie on and then the top button on. Lip, go and hit the flight. Let's go and fly. Let's go and fly. Let's go and fly. Let's, let's, let's go. I'll see you in the cockpit.